Ibogaine is what we call a promiscuous drug because it binds to a lot of different receptors. I'm Rod, I'm a psychiatrist at Beyond, and I'm here to talk about how Ibogaine works. The first receptor that I wanna talk about is the serotonin 2A receptor. It is the classical psychedelic receptor and is probably responsible for a lot of Ibogaine's mood and trauma relieving effects. It also binds to the serotonin transporter, which is what SSRIs bind to, to prevent the reuptake of serotonin which also has antidepressant and anti-anxiety effects. And the most unique thing about Ibogaine, besides hitting so many different sites, only a few of which I'm gonna cover here, is that it binds to a lesser known opioid receptor called the kappa opioid receptor. This is actually where salvia binds. And the reason that when people use salvia, they sometimes have a pretty intense, uh, unpleasant experience is because Usually when our body's endogenous neuropeptides called dynorphins bind to the kappa opioid receptor, it can produce anxiety and depression, but it can also have an analgesic effect and reduce pain and prevent withdrawal, in addition to having this anti-addictive effect as well. So Abigail manages to bind to this receptor without causing that anxiety and depression but while causing the pain relief and reducing withdrawal and having this anti-addictive effect, an anti-craving effect. 